Uh, it's a great uh, time to be in sports entertainment and the stuff we're doing. What do you think about, uh, uh, I think we're gonna really this new deal, man. AEW, wrestling. man, is real. All Elite Wrestling, they had the rally, the, the Double or Nothing rally yeah, yeah. a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Or no, a couple days ago, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple days ago in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, former WWE uh, talent. Tuesday, you've heard of him. His name is CM Punk. And they have CM Punk. relationship is CM Kenny Punk. Omega. The word is Kenny Omega has already turned down WWE's offer and is expected to sign with AEW. <laughs> Does AEW mean to professional wrestling? Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's the biggest thing to have at least done since Impact Wrestling debuted in 2002. And that, I think, is unquestionable. I think that's just really unquestionable. <coughs> well, relationships like AJ Styles and what he meant to the Bullet Club, will those relationships pay off in dividends? After all, we've seen friends like Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Hulk Hogan. We've seen those relationships. The Madison Square Garden. Friendships in professional wrestling change professional wrestling forever. And what could Chris Jericho mean? Let's not be crazy and think that this is the thing that could bring wrestling back. We thought that before. The whole company and they were going to give everybody insurance we've actually heard this message before some group like that i don't know if i'm getting the name wrong i know there was a p in the name they were supposed to be i think the new york mets was supposed to be behind them this was like they were gonna x pac and some people like that were believed to be signed to them well it didn't really develop now, I kind of think this is different due to the fact that we've already seen Chris Jericho. We've seen this big press conference. Chris Jericho's press conference, Chris Jericho coming to uh, All Elite Wrestling, is strikingly similar to when Hulk Hogan was at the parade going to WCW, that big, how they did it, the press conference aspect of that. So there is those similarities, and whenever you see similarities like that, and I really don't know where the hard evidence is, but there's talk that Turner, the, the, that they could be on TBS and TNT. Now, obviously, I hate to bust the bubble, but Turner is not, being on Turner stations could be cool, but it was also what ended the Monday Night Wars effectively because AOL hated wrestling and the AOL Turner merger led to WCW getting sold to Vince McMahon. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand why people are so excited with the thought that AEW could be on TBS and TNT. Other than the fact that that's where WCW was and they changed the world. But they were there when it was just Turner and there was no AOL. When as soon as AOL came into play, bye-bye WCW effectively began happening from day one that the AOL Time Warner merger happened. The fact is, it's not the same Turner that took 82 straight weeks of WCW kicking the WWF's ass. So, I understand that it would be just broadcast on that channel. And the outreach itself could be quite amazing. I, I, would prefer, I would prefer that if they could get multiple TV deals on different networks. I don't care if it's Turner or not. But TBS and TNT could be cool. And even if the deal falls through, since they're not owned by those people, uh, the outreach could just be enough to make another network eventually sign on if that's needed. And I think that would eventually happen. Like all um, TV wrestling deals fall through at some point. But being there... I'm just trying to be, look at this and be realistic, you know, because obviously I'm a professional wrestling fan, Mark. I'm also one of the people that AEW would appeal to the most because I will not watch Vince McMahon's product. I'm an Impact Wrestling fan. I'm an NWA fan. I'm a Ring of Honor fan. I'm a New Japan Pro Wrestling fan. I'm, I will put thousands of dollars and I have into professional wrestling and I refuse to watch Vince McMahon's product. I hate it. I, I can't never get down with what they did to Owen Hart. I'll never accept it. I'll never accept what they uh, have murdered my heroes like Eddie Guerrero. I will never accept the fact uh, that they took no responsibility in the Crispin Wall death and, and what resulted in uh, him murdering his family it's fundamentally wrong i will never watch that product because i politically emotionally and 
every every aspect of me disagrees with how Vince McMahon does business. I think he's a moral. He, I put him in the same moral category as, as you know, very very horrible people. That's all I'm gonna say um, to that degree. Because I don't want this to be an anti WWE video, but understand that anti WWE fans are exactly who AEW must be looking for. Because I am someone who has a track record of dumping thousands of dollars into professional wrestling, and at not one day have I ever spent one dollar on WWE merchandise. I've never ordered a WWE pay per view. I've ordered. Every single Impact Wrestling pay-per-view. I've ordered at least 200 Ring of Honor. I have been to over 500 Impact Wrestling, to TNA, whatever you want to call it, events. I've been to NWA events. I have been to thousands of independents. I have never attended a WWE show, and I'm proud of it. And I have never bought a WWE DVD. I've never bought a WWE video game. I'm proud of it. AEW puts out a video game, I'll buy it. I bought the Impact Wrestling video game. I bought every single WCW video game. I ordered other pay-per-views. Actually, I my parents, because of me, um, ordered hundreds of WCW pay-per-views. I am a ATM for professional wrestling. That is not Vince McMahon's show. All right? So, I, I put a lot of money into professional wrestling. I really have. I... I got, uh, I watched the All In pay per view. I put money into that. I watched the NWA 70 show. I put money into that. This is something I want to succeed. This is something I want to work. Anything that is not Vince McMahon, anything. Let me just say, I have put money into Major League Wrestling. I have put money into Impact Wrestling. Basically, I have put a lot of money into professional wrestling. And I think that there's other fans like me that maybe are not. Most of the people like me just quit watching wrestling altogether, right? Most people like me that just refuse to watch Vince don't watch wrestling anymore. So the bigger thing is for AEW to bring those guys back to the bubble. Then to take people like me. I'm telling you. I spend a lot of money on professional wrestling, and I have never spent money on Vince McMahon's show. Never. Not once. Not one god time have I ever done it, and I'm proud of it. AEW, I'm excited. I don't know what to make of it. I'm trying not to get myself overhyped, because I love professional wrestling. Like, um, a whole generation, right, that, that remembers the NWO. See, I hate, because I hate Vince McMahon. I, I hate the WWE. So I hate the term Attitude Era. I always refer to it as the NWO Era. Talking about that same time period, though. It was always the NWO Era to me. But that's the, why is it called the Attitude Era? Because the, because the history books are always wrote by the winners. And since Vince called it the Attitude Era, and he was ultimately, and I refuse to say the winner, but you know what I'm getting at. <coughs> I hate that motherfucker. I absolutely hate it. I'll support a horrible product if it's going to Vince. That's how much I hate the son of a bitch. That's how much I hate Vince McMahon. I would give money to this fucking promotion if I really thought they had a chance and taking out Vince just fucking to give them money just to, even if I hated the fucking product. If they were really taking it to Vince, I'd give them fucking money. I'd just send them fucking money. Just have my motherfucking money. I hate that motherfucker that bad. And I think that there's a lot of people like me that know that Vince McMahon is not good for professional wrestling. I believe, honestly, that AEW is good for promotions like Ring of Honor. That's good for promotions like New Japan Pro Wrestling. That's good for promotions like Impact Wrestling because those are the boys, right? Those are the wrestlers. They know what New Japan did for them. They know what Ring of Honor did for them. They know that a lot of their success was against Vince McMahon. Right? It is the anti-establishment. Right? Whether you, why was there uprising in 2008 for Barack Obama? The same reason that there was an uprising for Donald Trump. Right? People don't want to talk about that. But that's the disenfranchised. Because there's not, but that, that's the disenfranchised. Because there's not much difference in the Donald Trump's Tea Party and Occupy Wall Street. And of the Obama, the far left or the far right, politically, the United States is what I'm talking about. This is disenfranchised wrestling fans. And AEW can appeal to them. I really want that. I want AEW to succeed so bad, I can't even, I, I, I really do. And the fact that we finally got somebody who's willing to throw big money at it. And I hope it's not a myth. I hope it's not a hope. I hope it's not just wrestling fans biting the hook. I, I hope it really is.
as big as they're making it seem. Or as big as that it does seem. What Booker T recently say? Never seen nothing like this before. Right? I know he was quoting somebody else, but I'm quoting him. This is huge. And I tell you what. I'm telling you, I guarantee you every Impact Wrestling fan since 2002 will tune into this just because if they tune into that, they'll tune into this. I guarantee you every Ring of Honor fan, and God bless, we can only hope that so many tune in that have never tuned in since they tuned out from WCW. And then I hope we can create a new generation of wrestling fans that I think already exist. I think being the elite has created so many of those. I'm Kent with Full Entertainment Media. If you like this video, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Uh, it's a great uh, time to be in sports entertainment and the stuff we're doing. What do you think uh, about uh, uh, really this new deal, man? AEW, man, is real. Uh, it's a great uh, time to be in sports entertainment and the stuff we're doing.